I don't think in a million years I would have guessed Halo Infinite was what we were going to see at E3 2018. What up everybody, it's BBK Dragoon coming at you today talking about my thoughts of the Halo Infinite reveal trailer and what I think it means more so speculation on top of some excited sentiments about the direction that it looks like Infinite is going. So let's hit on those high points, that classic art style, the world itself, the old school look, you got Marty O'Donnell, I believe, involved with the music composition. He hasn't done, I don't think, an official confirmation, but he has tweeted some cheeky tweets. And if he's involved with the music, oh my goodness, that just earned my purchase right there. I love Marty's compositions. And then, of course, we have the new Slipspace engine. What we saw at E3 was a Slipspace engine demo. And I'll quote here from the 343 post, it's the culmination of years of work and is infused with the passion of hundreds of people here at 343. When we started this project, and by the way, this is the studio head Chris Lee, okay? Studio head FPS indicated there because they actually, you know, you've got RTS stuff going on with Halo and a couple of other areas that they're kind of exploring with. Anyway, let's pick, pick, pick the quote back up for you. When we started this project, the team's vision for the game was ambitious, so much so that we knew we had to build new tech to fully realize our goals for Halo Infinite. The E3 demo showcases some of the exciting potential of this technology. Everything you see is running in-engine, we still have a long way to go until we ship the game, so things will certainly evolve between now and the release of Halo Infinite. Though the engine demo is a clear indication of the direction we are heading with our next game, and a great snapshot of where our tech is right now. So then, what is this new direction? To me, it looks like maybe a more open-world-esque Halo game. It looks... I mean, it looks so much more like the Halo CE era of Halo games than the direction that Halo 5 was heading. It really does feel like a paradigm shift to me. I am concerned a little bit about timing of all this stuff because it sounds very early days for the development of Halo Infinite. In fact, in the same blog post at the very bottom, they indicate that they are still hiring for this specific game. They are still looking to bring new team members on board to help build this thing out. With that said, I don't expect to see Halo Infinite launching until 2020. And the selfish side of me, there's two sides of this going. The selfish side of me is very disappointed about that length because Halo 5 releasing in, what, 2015? That will be a huge gap between games. And this already news-starved scene coming into E3 gets to sort of continue to stay news-starved. And that is tough on the content creation side of the game. That's tough for streamers. It's, it's just tough in general for the community to maintain any sort of momentum, regardless of the size of the community. Now, the unselfish side, right, the not content creator side of the brain is going, take your time and build the game that you need to build. Were they working on a Halo 6? Got partway through production and said, nope, scrapping it, we're going a different direction. Or have they been working on Halo Infinite really since the release of the last Halo title, since Halo 5 development concluded? Has it been all hands on decks, deck towards this? I really don't know. You know, we see Bravo and Strongside leaving 343 just a little bit before E3. That could easily be a career move, and I hate to speculate into something that we really have no concrete details. When you work in any sort of field, you want to progress in your career. You want new opportunities and challenges and things. I, I don't want to just jump the gun and think, uh-oh, things are going amiss. Whatever. Maybe they are, maybe they aren't, but I am really curious to know if we'll ever find out what's been going on. The last almost three years since the release of Halo 5? Has it been two Halo games alongside one another? And here's the final rumor that we have to talk about. Infinite will launch with single player only, multiplayer to follow. That's just a rumor. Okay, the idea is that 2019, you're going to see the single player campaign launching with the multiplayer component coming out in 2020. This does sort of resonate with the initial rumor that was going around at the beginning of this year that there are two Halo games in it development. But I just don't know. I, I really have no idea. These rumors are completely based on nothing. Like we have no concrete, there's no screen caps. It's not a leaked PowerPoint from some internal meeting that 343 has been having, but they are moving on to a new engine. And when you move to a new engine, not only does it give you opportunities to streamline and improve, but it also offers huge new challenges that, like imagine you were a developer on, on Halo 4. Halo 5 used the Halo 4 engine, it was modified, and Halo 4 used the Reach engine, which was modified from the 3 engine. So it's, it's just been this ongoing, evolving engine that the team has used for many, 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 many years on Halo at this point. And it's got quirks, limitations, 
But when you use that tool set for long enough, you probably learn how to overcome certain challenges and you know where the hard roadblocks are, things that the engine will never be able to do. Anytime you move to an entirely new engine, a lot of that expertise is totally gone and it's a much scarier venture. Imagine releasing a multiplayer game with an engine that you've never really worked with before. In fact, I, I should have looked up before this what games run on the Slipspace engine. Let's do that now. I am not coming up with any results. So if any of you guys know if the Slipspace engine is brand spanking new or what it's built off of or if any other games have used the tech, I'd love to hear about it in the comments below. Speaking about that, what do you think about this? I want to know your reception, timing, everything. Are you happy? Are you excited? Are you sad? Are you concerned? All that stuff, just let me know in the comments. I'll be reading all of them and we'll talk about it in a future video most likely. I mean, personally, like I said, very excited about the direction. I hope they create a game that's very good and is received well upon launch. The other side, I mean, the content creator side is, is bummed because I know we're a very long way away from getting to try new things. And also kind of confused why I, I shouldn't open the El Dorito can of worms, but I, I really did expect some sort of PC solution this year in regards to them sort of putting the kibosh on El Dorito. That's a different conversation for a different time, and yes, I know they have kind of hinted that MCC after the patches may come to Windows 10, but still no real concrete word on it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please thumbs it up, subscribe for more, and I'll check in with you again next time.